Hello, welcome back home. For today's video, we go build this Pomodoro timer. So we're going to use Chakra UI and React to the build this application where they see for years. So and I go show on a folder structure so that I go feel manage on a React code very well. So make we see this app in action. We get this Pomodoro timer. Well, now we don't know what's in Pomodoro B. Now just technique we say we they use the timer ourselves to they focus on something. So normally in like 25 minutes, we they use the run this kind of focus. And uh, if you set down for here, for once you run that Pomodoro, after the clock don't finish, if you take rest, if you take break. So then that way you could set this um, short time away they see for here. And then after you've done like about three or four Pomodoros, now that time you will feel take a long break for here of, of just like usually 15 minutes or so just so that it will help you focus very well so make we see this application in action make we see we get this pomodoro which now 25 minutes where they see for here and if we click on this start icon we get this toast for here and we also get the buttons we could change so likewise we feel also do the same short break now for short break i just set up to three seconds but short break supposed to be like five minutes i will go do that when they build the app i just down for three seconds so and i could see when the app go end so make we press play for here because you say don't show us say the timer don't start and after three seconds you go show say the timer don't stop so if you click on this one of course it they do the same and this now the reset button if you click on it always resets the thing back to the pomodoro and if you notice whenever we click on this you're going to hear this sound you're going to hear this beep so we can also use the audio api so before we start waiting again you're going to need be say you're going to need to install node.js those of you now when you get node.js i beg install node.js you're going to need them if you want to work as a developer now for the ui we go to use Chakra UI and uh, Chakra UI now very interesting library. We say it they help us they build UI components for React. It just be like Bootstrap. Those of now we savvy Bootstrap Chakra UI it be like um. So just come here to this get started and uh, we will come back to these packages in a bit. Okay. Uh, so now make we just quickly spin up a new project. I go just open up my terminal for here so. So I did inside my terminal now and what we want to be say we just want to set up a new VIT project. So make sure say you did the directory where you want to build the project. So, so we'll just run since I don't install pnpm, we will just run pnpm pnpm create VIT. Now this will help us bundle our project for the starting code we will work with now. And then for here now we will just give this our project a name. If you just call them anything when you want, but make we just call them Pomodoro timer, or if you just call them ordinary timer, anyone when you want. And then we just press enter here. So yes, we're gonna use React and we're gonna use JavaScript for here. Very soon we're gonna start to use TypeScript. So if you now go like TypeScript video, make you now, uh let me know for the video and then we'll start to use TypeScript. I'll go first drop video about TypeScript before we can start to use TypeScript in the future. Okay. So make we change directory uh cd into this Pomodoro timer and then make we install all the dependencies if you just say pnpm i and press enter this go install all the dependencies where we need for our project so so relax when you finish it will let you know say it don't finish all right so the thing don't already install and it don't waiting it don't do say it don't install all our dependencies for yes so and then you don't install all our dev dependencies as per developer dependencies where we're going to use build this thing so so now just react where they use as dependency and then we go call install some other dependencies so because we want to use chakra ui make we go into chakra ui website i could just minimize this one and if you come inside chakra ui if you come i will drop link for the description so that now if you come the installation page for yes so and you can see where it gives us these options here. So when we never install pnpm, we will not just get only npm or yarn. Now if you pick any of these ones for here, but uh, since me, I did use pnpm, I could click this pnpm package for here. And then if you just click on this copy, all right. Now make we go back into the terminal and then I will just clear this one 
and we go just paste that code for inside here. Waiting go do be say this code go help us run pmpm -PM add to add a dependency and then it go help us add this uh, chakra UI React and emotion React and emotions styled and framer motion. So this uh, chakra UI you need these three packages to work correctly. Okay, so you go just press enter for here. This go install the packages for us, and when you finish, it go let you know say you don't finish. I did inside my VS Code now, and the thing we say uh, make we first go into our package.json, make we give them a version. So make we just call them uh, version one for here, and this now the script where we go to run today develop our application and this now the script where we're going to run to build our application and the remaining scripts now for uh, linting and for preview now this now all our dependencies where we don't install well we don't install our chakra and we don't install all other dependencies we go see need go into src make we first come out the app.css delete this file make we go into the app.jsx just quickly replace this thing with another empty fragment for here and then we'll go clean the remaining things for here next make we clean the index.css if you delete them and then come into the main.jsx now for inside the main.jsx make we clean the css and now what we're going to do is say we're going to need to import our chakra ui provider this now waiting go let chakra ui or our application they work with chakra ui so make we come into the import statement for this number line number four for here and then make we just import and then we go do our curly brace and we go just say one import and we go inside the string we go say we want to do at chakra dash ui slash react we go import them like this so and then for inside here now here we go import our chakra provider so we just select the chakra provider and once we import that chakra provider we go need to wrap them inside our application so inside here now here we can call our chakra provider now we go come wrap the whole application inside this chakra provider now when we don't set them up like this when we go into the app component and for inside the app component so what i'm going to do is say i go first import and just like we import the provider this time we could talk say we want import from at chakra dash ui slash react make we first import the heading component all right as we don't import this heading now make we just say we want heading we're going to put one hello world for inside here okay make we enter into the browser because it'd be like say we never they run our code on our way they use vs code if you open a new terminal for your vs code but me i could just leave this terminal for here where we don't already they use before so we'll say pnpm run dev or if you even clean the run i go just make them dev like this so press enter and then this go fire up our project so now we our server don't start for here make we just press ctrl and then click on this link this go open up the browser and it go open our project for the browser so if you look for inside my browser you will see say we get this hello world component for here so that just should say our chakra ui they work correctly so make we start today import components from chakra ui where we gonna need on top this our application the first one we will need for here uh, as we don't import the heading we go also need a flex component we go also need the button component from chakra ui so make we go into here into our application here and we will just replace them with a flex component now this is now our flexbox component so now we don't know what's in flexbox b now just normal css where they help us arrange our code layout for inside this our flex component we're gonna need to add some kind of props to them okay so the first props we want to do we say we want to give them a props of main height what we want to do we say we want to give them a main height of 100 vh another props of justify content 
and we will just set them to uh, center for here. Next, make we align the items to the center. Make we set the flex direction to colon for here. And then make we set a gap for here, a gap of six. So we'll say BG, and we want to set this BG to gradient, okay? Now, once we set down to that gradient, this gradient will just be string. We want to set the linear gradient as the color, but we want to set them to top left, and then we they set the color. First, set them to red dot eight hundred, which now a different shade of red, and then we they set them again to another red red dot nine hundred. Wait to see for there. Next, what we gonna want to do? We say make we first preview. So I go just press save for here. So we'll come back to browser. And they see, say we get our gradient for here. So what I would like to be say, I would like just open this one on the side here, and then uh, I would like move our VS Code to the side here. So I'm going to see what we do for here. So make we just give the header a name. So we could just say, and now make we start to style our header. So we'll go give them a color, and the color we want to give them now color white. So if you say white for here, and then make we give them another props of font weight and the font weight we won't give them nothing make we give them a letter spacing and the letter spacing one will give them now 1.2 pixels the next thing we won't give them now text transform make we set them to upper case for here okay now once we press save we get our text where they show for here now if you look at this text, you go see say the text they different from waiting we get for the finished version. That's not because I they use a different font family. So make I show you how to add external font families for Chakra UI. For inside the main.jsx, what you want to do be say we want to import another thing from Chakra UI and that now the extend thing. Now, this extend thing, it will let us extend our Chakra UI with our own things, okay? So, to do that, we could just say one const. And we could just call them thing for here. And this thing, we could just assign them to the extend thing, okay? Then, what thing did they do? We say, it is taking an object. So, we want taking the fonts. These fonts, we go assign them also to an object where we want to set our heading and as we don't set that heading what we want to set now mod serrat and the other font we will define now for the body and this body what we go do we say we want to add the other font of rally way okay now as we get this thing for here now we feel they add our own colors we feel they add anything to these things and it could add on top of chakra ui for us so as we don't define this thing for here we could just come straight into our own provider for the chakra ui provider and we could just say for here we want to assign a theme and then we could just pass in that thing when we define for up here into RAM. if now the code along now go see the code where i go drop for the font file okay so what we want to say we want to create a font file so what I go come, I'll come do for inside this SRC, I'll create a new file. I'll call them fonts.jsx. And this fonts.jsx. So what we go do for this fonts.jsx? Now say we could come first import calibrate. And what we want to import now from at emotion slash react. And for inside here, what we want to do, we say we want to import the global. Now with this global where we don't import, so we could config create component called const fonts. Uh, with these fonts now, so we'll say we want this global, and for here, we will just add our style and these styles props now where we go add all the fonts where we want. So I don't copy my fonts from Google Fonts, and then I will just put them inside here. So now when we don't um, define our fonts for here, we feel just come to the bottom here, and then we feel just export our fonts for here. So we just say export default forms for here so now we did export this component so if we come back into our main.jsx here we will come fit import the font as we get our component so now if we add our font component on top and then we'll just close them off you just say our text no they thin again now our text don't they use moderate as in heading and then any other text could they use this rally way for the text for the body for here so so this now how 
we don't import our custom fonts so now when we don't do all this setup make we go back into the app components and now for inside this app component so make we go down here and make we add our card component just after the heading what we want to be say we want to add another flex component so go say flex now make we give them a props of bg gradient and then make we just assign this gradient to a linear gradient and we could just say we want to assign them to the bottom and then we go set the color to red dot 700 and we go set the second color or the second color of the gradient to red dot 900 now this will give us that nice linear gradient and then we feel add the remaining styles where we want the first style we want now say we want a padding so we go first say we want the base this now the default settings for our components padding rather and then we'll just set them to six for here. We could just say we want to make the medium. We could set them to nine for here as the value. And then we we'll set LG that now for large screen to 12 for here. So what will they do for here? We we'll say the base padding for any other screen size, we want to set them to six. Then for medium screen size, we want to set them to nine. And of course, for large screen size, we want to set the padding to 12 for here. That are all what we do for here, okay? So we could say we want to set them to rounded, just assign them to uh two times or two XL. So we want it two times larger. The next thing we want, we say we want to set the align items. I want to align the items to the center, set the flex direction to column, and then we can say now we want to set the shadow. We we'll just set them to dark LG. That means we want to make the shadow the dark. I make it just day like this now for instance here what you go do we say we want another flex so we could just set the gap the first set the base to two set the medium set this value to five for here now for instance here what we go like do we say we go like create a button bring in our button component from chakra ui so for here make we just add the props where we need say color skin black alpha text transform to uppercase for here as we don't set down to uppercase, what we want to do is say we want to set the font weight to light for here. Okay, we're going to set the letter spacing and then make we set this letter spacing to wide for here. I'll make we increase the font size. So we'll just say font size. We're going to set the base to 2XL and then make we just set the MD for here. Then at the medium size, we'll just set down to medium. And if you set the large size or LG, make we set them to 3XL. So we we'll say 3XL. So if you set the size, we will set the base. I'm going to set this base to XS. Make we set the medium and then make we set the LG to LG. Okay. Instead of click, I want to do Pomodoro so that anytime when we click on them, we could get this Pomodoro uh clock for here now as we don't set on like this we're gonna need to duplicate or replicate these buttons over and over and over so what we could do is say make we first create an object for the top of our code here just above the return statement i will just say const and i go set the initial timer okay so this go hold all the time settings where we want set for our application so we go create this initial timer as an array of objects okay so the first value where we want we can say value now for the value of the time here yeah, i go set up to 1500 then i go set the display we could just set this display as the name for um now if we press save you could just format our code for us so make we duplicate this process again after a comma, we we'll just done like two times, and then we we'll just set. Let's first set this to three seconds for the first one, and then we we'll could set the other one to nine hundred seconds. Okay, this value here we we'll go use them. They run for twenty five minutes. This one we we'll go use them to they do short break. So make we change the Pomodoro here to short break, and then long break now we want to loop over this initial value can they recreate this kind of button over and over but we want to pass these values into this one okay make it get these values and make it get this display name for here so 
make we try do arm. So we'll just take this initial timer. I could just copy arm, scroll down. We want now take this button and we want duplicate this button for our code. Just on top, put our curly brace for here where they allow us to write our JavaScript. And then now when we feel write our JavaScript, we're going to say, we want to take the initial timer where we create on top that array and then we want map over RAM. Now, as we done the map over RAM, remember I say the map is taking a function, right? So we say we want the fat arrow function and inside this fat arrow function, we go say we want implicitly return something. Now here where we go come put inside this bracket, we go put our button. So now when we don't put this button for inside here, if we press save, you can see say our buttons don't show as three for here. Make we come to the very top for here, on top the color scheme, and then make we just add a key. Because with the map over RAM, if we take the initial values where we want, so make we use the structuring for here, and make we say we want the value, and then make we say we want also the display. Now if we pass in the value inside here, and once we pass that value, if we get our key or that error or warning don't clear come off for there then instead of just writing pomodoro for here as all of them just again pomodoro pomodoro what we will do we say we will call set star one to the display for here okay now once we press save every text we did for our array for here so nine in the add for inside here now the way we did write this one here it go make sense if we get where we feed they store all this kind of information so that we don't need to come our app components every time. We will just need to go that one place, change these values, and then it will affect the entire application. So make we come here back into our file explorer. We want to create a config folder. So we will just right click for inside the SRC. And for here, we will just say we want to create a new folder. Now, once I click that new folder, if you just create a config folder, and this config folder, what we want to do is say we want to add an index.js for here. Now, this index.js, make we close here. Now, here we will feed the drag all this code with it here. Instead of having this, this whole array living inside our components, we will cut them and we will just paste them inside this config file way there for here to use them we're going to need to export them so don't forget to export now once we done the export them it's now available to our whole code so make we import them into our code so come to the top here we want to import the initial timer so we're going to say our curly brace from and then we're going to say where we want to import them so we'll say dot slash and where we want to import them from the config and this config uh, directory now here we could come get exposure to our initial timer now the first thing we want to do is say make we first import use state so we'll go say from and then i want to import something from react so i feel say use state and now when we don't import that use state what you want to be say we click on now they define our state so i could say const as an array once set the time and we want to set the set time state. Okay, so this will help us to so change the state or they uh, mutate our state. Assign them to the use state hook. This will allow us to set the initial value of zero. So because our app they start from zero, we will also need way to start the application. So we can say we want the timer. Uh, make we call them timer start. So as we call them timer start, make we say we want to set timer starts we go also set the initial value of the timer starts to force for here so now if they mutate those values so make we come back down into our buttons where we create for here so so we'll say we want the on click and this on click event they take in an anonymous function where we go use a fat arrow function for here and inside this anonymous function now here we want call the states or now here we want to change our states where they work with right we want the set timer start and we want to set the set timer start to false for here then we go come say and now we want also set the time and as we do the set time we go come we pass in that value where we get before 
what we go like do we say make we just clg or console.log the time and one timer start state so we'll just console log these two values and then we're gonna see make we see what they do so make i just restart first make i make sure say everything they work so it is see say when i first restart the page it shows say zero and it show false so if i click here it says 1005 and false three and false and 900 and false so what did they do we say it is set false whenever we click on it will stop it will set false it will reset false now you work with that set false and give us a time set false and give us a time you know they do anything past that that are all with these three buttons they do but because of our state now our application don't they are aware of this kind of behavior so make we create a new component make we create a new folder so i go come into this src and go create a new folder make we call this folder components we want to add some kind of other new files inside here so right click and click on new files and the component we want to add now the time component so make we just call them time.jsx what we will do we say for inside this time components make it first import uh we want import from chakra ui we want import the text component inside this component what you want to do we say we want export the default function like so we just they create a component and we'll just call this component time and the props we want pass into around now the current time uh what you're going to do we say we're going to use them to they know which time the application they show right now all right we want return our what we they call them text component uh make we add some dummy text like zero 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 i'm uh, gonna just put a column for here drop them in a string so that it no go break all right so we will come back into our app component here and for inside here make we scroll down make sure say you scroll down small after the button components we will just set for here so i get one extension where they help me they automatically import my components so that i don't go to stress too much so i would say uh, time and then you just see say it already they show me this uh line for here that just means say this go help me go into my projects and it go find the time components and import them at the top of my code all right so if i click on it don't help me import that component if you scroll to the top you can see say the component don't import for here so all right now make you scroll back down and what i could do is say i could just close this time component for here if you see say now we get the text for here so we could go back into the component make we style them um, just to make sure say everything they work the way it's supposed to work so we're gonna say we want the font weight and let's set the font weight to bold the next thing we will do we say make we set the font size and the font size of course we go make a responsive so we go say we want make the base uh make it be five xl not 50 but five and say for medium screen we want add a seven xl we go say we want the um, lg that not the large screen size make it be nine xl so now make we add the color because our color now now black so make we change the color to we guess it white make we set the letter spacing so we'll say letter spacing and we will just set this letter spacing to wider another thing we are like make we do be say make we add the font family make we change this font family for here and then make we change this font family to montserrat what we want to do be say we want to click here and we want to change these values to waiting with a c for here to these values of here so if we change this one we won't show this text for here all right so what we're gonna like to be say we're gonna like take this current time and we're gonna like today change that current time and pass them in as a props right so we're gonna say we want current time and now if i press save nothing will show so make we go add that props as our current time so we'll go back into our app component what we want to do we say we want pass in our props as current current time props and this current time we we'll just set them to time so the time state where we get so you the say i'm say any time state where we get for here nine in the show so if we press here we get three seconds we get 900 seconds and we get 1500 seconds we go first create our own uh helper function 
what will help us to the arrange this kind of code or to the take this information here and to the convert them to text for us. So make we go back into the time component. Make we come here and make we call this function format time. And this format time function is just the taking a, a time. Once we give them a time, then at these values where we get for here, it will take this time and then it will help us they you know they show us as the real time like time where they readable to us okay so what we will do we say we go first write another function for here but this function they only available to this our format time function if that make any sense make i call a format here okay is it taking a value okay and what we want to do we say we want to take this value now where will they get from this our inner function and then we want to check if this value of this inner function if it did less than 10 all right then if it did less than 10 we want to do something and what we want to do we say we want to use like a what they call a backtick or template string and then this template string will go feel right JavaScript inside down. So we'll say we want zero. And then because we feel right JavaScript inside this template string, we could just say we want the dollar and call it brace. Then we'll just call our value inside here. Otherwise, because now if statement, so we'll say otherwise, we won't do just the normal uh, value. Okay. So if the value they less than 10, then it will give us like this. So what we want to do we say we want to create another one so we'll say we want another cons but this time we get our minute and this minute here what we want to do we say we will just write one very small algorithm for here we will help our code to the arrange itself so we can say we want maths law we want set them to time that's whatever time will be passed into this our function but we want divide them by 60 for here all right so this now waiting our minutes could they do whatever time will be set on top of divided by 60. So now I'm waiting with the try to do for there. And then the next one we want to do we say we want to set the um the seconds. So the set the seconds, you can say seconds. All right. Now if you call this anything where you want, guys, but me, I just want to make the code day uh, understandable to some of us. So I could say we go assign this one to time. And what we go do, we say we go use the modulus. It they help us they divide the number and then it they return the remaining values we did. So we go say modulus 60. So now when we done the run and like this, what we want to be say we want to return. So for inside template string, make we say we want to do our JavaScript for inside here. And I could just put a semicolon and then we could say we want add another javascript so when i don't see the picture now of what we want to do call this our format function we did for here so we'll take our format function and go we'll say format function and then we'll pass in the minutes into ram all right and then we we'll do again the format function and as with the column we we'll go come pass in the seconds inside that so now make we wrap the function i will go call that format time but this time we'll go wrap current time and you see um, this little algorithm don't they help us to the format our code nice nice for us so make we take this function and what i want to say i want to create a new file for inside our src we could just call this utils this utils folder now where all our utilities functions could stay so we'll just create a new file here and we'll just call this file index dot uh make a column js here and now here we will just carry all that code for here we could cut them i'm going to paste them inside here as our utils so make i close that one and make we export this uh format time function as uh, so we don't the export them, we fit now import this format time function. This is not just way for us to keep our code cleaner and more maintainable. Make we close this uh, index file and then make we close our time component since we don't the run arm. As we don't do that time component for there, make we get another component for here called the flex component. Uh, for inside this flex component, we could just say we want an align item. So align items as the props, I'm going to set them to center. We're going to need to give them a gap. So we'll say gap. I will set this gap to two. So there are two main components we are going to like build for here, which are the reset button with the play button. So we could go into our component directory 
and right click and create two new components. The first component we want to make now the play button dot gsx and the second component where we want now the reset button dot gsx. So make we go into the play button first so that we go fit add play functionality to the application. To get the play button working, make we first add some icons, go back into our terminal and install another package. Make we first end the code for inside the terminal and go press Ctrl C and this will help us switch off the server and the package where we want to install na React icons. We'll say pnpm add React dash icons and once we press enter for here, this go install React icons into our application. Make I show on ourselves while it install. So if you check this React icons uh, website, I go drop link for the description. And I'll go figure any icons where you want for React uh, icons. So as we now already installed the package, if you just come here, find any of the icon based on the category where you want. If you get material UI, anything where you want for icons, you go see them for here. No worry about that one, guys. This Radix icon nine we go use. So if you just come, click on them, and then if you just get any of the icons, right? This is say it don't install the React icons for us. So make we start our server again. So we'll clear here, and then press up twice. Now if we enter our pnpm dev environment again, and then make we go back into our code. We need import icon button and more important from chakra ui the next thing we're going to do we say we're going to need import our react icon so we'll say import from react dash icons but we're going to now say slash and then rx so once i press slash if you see say we get all these files for here this now all the icons where we get available or icon groups where we feel use so if now bootstrap with the five if you find this bs now now bootstrap and um, font awesome go phoebe fa and font awesome six phoebe fa six all those kind of things so waiting with the file now now the rx and this rx now will give us access to the radix uh icons where i showed now before we want the rx pause we also want the rx play and then make we take the rx stop so now as we don't import all these packages or all these icons we go need use them for here we could just like create a function and make we call this function our play button so this will take in some props we could do the structure in here but we could just like pass in the props of is started and we could like pass in another props of current time okay now as we get these two props here what we're going to need to be say we're going to need way for us today return our icon so for inside brackets here what we could do is say we go call, call the icon button component from chakra ui so inside here what we're going to do is say now self closing so make we close them like this and for here we go start today add all the props where we need so the first prop so we would like give them now a title and this title now when we put the mouse on top arm what you want to make it show make we just talk say play or pause timer the second props will go add now the color scheme and inside this color scheme make we just call them uh black alpha for here make we now add the icons okay so we'll say we want the icons as props and now for the icon props what we go call do be say we go call add some logic we will go use to display the icons based on the logic or conditions. So what we want to be say we want to check if it started no day true. So we we'll say we want the RX play component. And as we done like this, we're going to add a column for here to say we want to add an else statement. And now for inside this else, what we're going to do be say we will come use the current time. And this current time now we'll come check if a day equals to zero, then at the triple equal sign do the rx stop for here otherwise make it just show the pause icon so we'll say rx pause for here so make i explain the logic again what will be the c for here we say if you know they started then it will show us the play icon otherwise it will check whether the current time don't clock zero 
If you don't clock zero, now that time will go show us the stop icon. And otherwise, if you no, know, they do any of these two by force by force, finally, it will run only the pause button. So then at the logic way we just they use, they conditionally render these three components. All right. What we're going to need to do is say we're going to need to now export them by default. Okay. And we just want to set the play button for here. So we the export this play button. And now make we import them back inside our app component. So for inside this app component, for inside this flex, so make sure say you did inside this third flex. So not the first one, not the second one, but this third flex. Now here we want render RAM. Okay. So for here, we could contact say play button component for here and it's self closing also make we pass in props where we need so the first props where we need now is started and this is started we won't come give them the timer starts for here and then the second props we won't give them now the current time and now with this current time what we want just give them as a value now the time state will be set for the top all right so make we go back into our button component we could just come say now we won't come pass an on click event we won't come give them a function so now this function of handle click could they run every time when we click on this button all right now make sure say you day for inside this curly brace as we won't come pass our handle click as a props for us so we'll just press save here make we go back into the app component and for inside our app component so we will say handle click as the props and this one just they take a simple function and this function they say if the time if time no day at all we won't write an alert so make we first alert the user for inside string so we could just say you need to set a timer first and it go alert this message give us otherwise set the timer start to whatever the timer starts be but we won't come put them for not so whatever the current timer start be make it not just be that timer start so now waiting with this try do for here so. so now if we just come back inside here make we scroll up small now here where we could call say we won't come use our use effect now within the handle all our life cycle methods for inside our functional components so for inside here now just here yeah make sure say they're under the hooks now here we won't come call our use effect okay it is taking an anonymous function and this second parameter now here we're going to put all the dependencies where the use effect could work with so we'll get to that one now what you want to be say we could just say we want to create a constant and we could just call them uh make we call her interval make we assign them to something like set interval if they first collect a function every time we're going to run a check to check if the timer starts if it don't start then we won't come run if the time than the time state if it day greater than zero remember say we don't already set them to zero for here so what you want to be say we won't call now change the state if you don't pass zero so we go set the time of this state to time minus one you could come on okay but otherwise we won't do something else so we go say we want an else if statement and this else if statement what you want to do inside them be say we won't check the time then at the state of the current time where we where we day but won't check if it day equals to zero all right and only if it day equals to zero now that time we won't con ch change sorry one can change the timer starts if it day equals to zero and the timer start day equals to true now that time we will be one call run a simple alert and we'll just say if we just say timer has stopped here and with this now for our code today more efficient we go need way for us to now clear the interval so we'll say for underneath this alert statement we'll come say one clear make i scroll down interval and then we're just passing the interval for here so that every time you go to clear you go to stop this timer 
once if the time don't pass if this condition they met it will stop this timer only that condition inside this our set interval so we'll set down to 1000 so every 1000 uh, millisecond we want to run this our um set interval function for here but now when we done the set down for here what you want to do be say we want call return an anonymous function for here but this function what you go do be say we could call is and now clean our code because once the component don't come up from the screen once the component don't uh, mount we will want also stop the timer because the timer to go they run this use effect every time so we want to say we want clear interval and this clear interval again we go pass in the interval function will be built then uh, this one way day for the very top every time it runs inside here and then once this time i don't finish for inside our use effect one can clear and come off from our screen so so for inside this array now now here we won't come add all the dependencies where we they work with for inside this our use effect so we go first say the first dependency now the timer starts and the second dependency now the time so make we test now for here remember say we don't already they put some kind of notification so if we click on without setting time you see say we get this um, alert message for here we go soon change that one in a bit but before we do that make we first check the time and then we press start and you see it don't they change the state and once it reach zero it shows us the stop icon and then it can show us say the alert message say the message or the timer don't stop now if you look for inside here on top of the browser you can see that we get this vit plus react and this now just the settings for our html so what i go like to say i go like also show the timer for here for the title so we want also to change the title every time so we could just come back into our vs code inside our use effect what you want to be say one call document dot title and this will give us access to this title where they for the top here but it will give us the access to javascript so this is not just javascript where they do make we use template literal for here but now we remember that function when we call before that format time so we'll say format time and we'll just quickly import them for the very top here i don't press enter so you don't auto import for me and then now we'll just pass in the time for here so whatever this time be it could show us that formatted time for here so instead of just showing the formatted time we could just put one dash for here and say remaining okay and now this is going to show us the remaining time we day on top for here so you see how we don't use javascript or react to take change this time so make could test them for here so we press short time for three seconds we set them to three you see say they change every time the effect and then it clicks out all right if you notice say for the finished version we get notification for the top so make we go back into our chakra ui and then for inside this chakra ui what you want import again now our use toast so we want import chakra ui's use toast hook and what you go do be say this use toast hook it could help us they create that toast with the column a toast that pop up where they see and uh, you know going to give us the default browser one as we do important for here make we see how we feel use this hook for inside our code and just here where we define all our hooks you could just call const and then we will just say we want a toast now this toast we could just assign them to the use toast a hook from chakra ui and once you done like this anytime we want the alert or show something to the user we go to column with this toast component for here and then make we replace the alert statements make we come into our use effect make we replace them um, so we just say we want the toast and for inside this toast we they take in an object and make we first take the title uh, as we get the title now make we come out this title for here make we cut this one and get rid of this and then make we just add this title say the timer don't stop so i go click the time and then make we press play it's supposed to show us the timer and you they see say the timer they come up for here and you see say now blue whereas for the finished version now red so make we add the remaining props to make them just like the finished version we want a status 
So make we set this status to error. For inside quotes, we could say we want error. Then the second option we want now the position. So if you just say we want set the position, if you choose any of the positions where you want for here, and me, I will just choose uh, top right for here. And now this will set the stop button to this top right for here and a color red. So just like that, we don't get this nice component with the for here. So I could just copy them um, and then make we replace the other components for where we get the button down here. Instead of this alert with the here, make we replace them um, with this one. So we'll say we want toast for here. And now, if we try press play without selecting any of these ones, we get the warning sign say you will need select a timer first. All right. But I would like make we add the reset button because right now it just stay here and we know if it reset. So make we add the reset because now our icons don't they count uh, the way we want to make it count. So what we go do be say we go come the button for here. So make we go the reset button dot gsx and it did very similar just like the play button make we import our component so i will say import and we want import the as usual the icon button now make we import our icons so import so we don't import our icon for here and then we go call import our icon button for here Next thing we're going to need to do is say we're going to need to create our reset button component. So we'll just create a function. I'm going to just set this function to reset button. What we want to do now is say we want to add an event handler just like we did before, but this time we could just call them again and do on click. So this will come in as our props where we just did the structure for this. So, and then we will just return just like the button. We want to implicitly return the icon for here okay so we'll say icon button make we set the title we could set the title to reset timer and then we will set the icon to our reset icon with day for up here so so we'll just co copy that and we'll just paste them in as a component okay make, make sure say we close the component for here and now we suppose don't get our icon so maybe we give them a color scheme i'm going to set this color scheme to black alpha we feed now add our event listener so we'll say on click handle on click before this button to work we suppose export our component and we'll go export them by default okay now we get our reset button component so make we go back into the app display button or play button components we did for here so we could just go on top and now here we will go call our reset button now you don't already they imported for the top there so now when we get this button we'll make we handle the reset button whenever we don't click on we could just say we want the props of handle on click and these props now we could just give them one anonymous function inside here and we could just tell them say okay now inside this function we want the call set time starts this set time starts we want set time to false for here by default and then waiting again we want to do we say we want to set the time we want set them to the initial timer then at the array of all the elements where they all these elements here so we want to set them to this array where you get all these elements for here we want to take the first item inside them so we'll use the bracket notation but we won't get the value from this array all right so what we they do we say we just they check this objects for initial timer for inside there we they use the bracket notation because now array where they access we they use them select the first item which now this pomodoro where we, where we get for here and then we just get the value because we get the keys we get different keys for here we get the value and we get the display so we just get this value which now number so now when we don't save them you they see our reset button for here so if we click on it go reset to this one so it's basically the same thing as saying this too but it they reset no matter the timer or the time where we set them so it is here we just set them back to the 25 if we click here and we reset them again it don't reset all right cool now make we say we want to add notification 
or we want a way where they say we feel they play sound on top of this uh, application. How we go take drum? What I would like to do we say, make we go into the, the index file where they inside the utils directory. And for inside this index file, we'll say we want to create a constant and one column play notification sound. So we could just call this function play notification sound. And what in it go they do now only to the play the notification sound. Create a constant. We could just call them audio for now. What you want to do with them? We say we want to create a new audio object. All right. And this is now the follow com audio API way browsers they give us. All right. What we go do with this audio? We say we suppose passing a sound, an MP3 file. Meanwhile, I don't download one MP3 file online. I go drop the link for the description. So now if you also download that one. So I go just open, come into my files for here, my folder structure. I go drag the music file and I go put them inside this public directory. So the same, I'm saying we get this notification sound dot mp3 and this not just mp3 sound. If it be anything, if I click on that now or waiting, it they do for us. So if you close them, so we'll say import, we want to import notification sound from slash notification sound dot mp3. Now if you put music, if you put anything where you want, so now when we don't import them, make we come back into our audio. And now for inside this audio, we feel now import, you guessed it, the notification sound. Because of this, we go config return audio dot play. This go to play this sound every time. You go to create this sound and you go to play this sound. So this function go to always the return the played sound. All right. That's why we set the function like this. So now, for us to use the function, we're going to need to export them. So we know they export them as default. We just export them as a named export. One can run this function anytime we something don't change. Anytime an activity for here don't affect our clock. So make we go into the first use effect. And what we're going to do for this use effect, we say just before the toast for here, what we want Nadi play notification sound and then we go call them as a function whenever the time has stopped for this case now there the thing will show us say oh it don't stop and then it will play the sound so make we use the test uh, three seconds make we press on and you see this one gets in sound you understand so make we do add all this functionality for when we click on we want to make it start and then make it play that sound so make we add the second use effect. What thing they do? We say it they help us to check whether the time does start. So we could say we want the use effect where they take a dependency of timer starts. Inside this use effect, what we gonna need to do? We say if the timer don't start, make it play the notification sound. So we could say play notification sound i will just call that function if the timer don't start we could also like give the user some feedback so we could like say make we do a toast so we could say we want a title like before then we could say timer has started here i'm gonna set down to success we we'll, like set the position to top right now make we press save make we see i'm in big screen so if i press play for here it don't start and it don't stop so make we add the 15 minutes or the five minutes. And to do that, we could just need to go back into our VS code. And then make we go into the settings where we put all this configuration. And now for inside the configuration file, go into the short break and then make we just add two zeros, which now 300 for five minutes. So we press save for here, go be five minutes and our Pomodoro time go be 25 minutes and our long break Go be 15 minutes. So I go like to see what on our feed to do with this kind of application, whether on our feed put music inside them or whether on our feed even put a list of music or feed a pull music from somewhere else into this application. I go like just see what on our they build with them. So don't forget, you feel share your code for our community for Telegram. We say we they try help each other to they learn this thing as we they grow together. And also, if some of now don't the reason say this thing you know to understand them, I go need make person teach you or make person hold your hand, make we they do them one 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 by one together. Then make you now reach out to me. We say I go they teach you now 
from the ground up. So just write me up on Telegram or social media or something. All the links to my social network go there inside the description side. And then on our field, reach out to me. And then I go like help on our. So I go see you now for the next video.